Okay, we're back in Orange Springs today to get a few of the things we missed the other day. We came out here Monday and shot a video, but I was just doing a quick little test video, so I figure since Orange Springs is only about 10 miles away from Interlochen, we would come out and make a more definitive video. And this is the James H. Townsend House on the National Historic uh, register it was a hotel back in the olden days, the 1800s. Not sure if we can read that or not. I can't see it on the viewfinder screen. But that is a neat little building. Let's go see what else we missed the other day. Okay, that is the Orange Springs Civic Club, which I think is their voting precinct where you'd come to vote if you lived in Orange Springs. And uh, now we're gonna go up here. And right up here at this stop sign, we should be able to get all three, all three businesses here in Orange Springs in one shot. And I'll ask the driver formerly known as James to make an extended stop here. But uh, this right here is their little cafe restaurant, or the back of it. And the Dollar General is right there across the street. And over here is the Orange Springs Grocery. So yeah, that's it uh, as far as open door businesses go. Right here, Dollar General in this little restaurant, Townsend's Cove. Very cool. I have never eaten at Townsend's Cove, but maybe we will one day. Um, now we're gonna go check out this church down here. So go hang a right and we'll get the front of Townsend's Cove. And go slow, Jeff Gordon. Very neat looking little place. They have a plaque on that tree right there, which I'm not sure <laughs> if we should go back and get that or not. Let's go back and get that. Okay, it was just a sign about live oaks which is screwed to a live oak, but if you want to read that, pause now. I'm not sure I'm getting it. But this is their live oak tree here. Very hardy live oak. Okay, and we pulled into this Townsend Cove restaurant to uh, film that plaque which turned out to just be a plaque about live oak trees and give you a good shot of Townsend Cove. I would go in and ask if I could film inside there but I don't know I don't know if they'd oblige that or not so anyway we're gonna head back out now and head over to this old church okay I just wanted to get that sign you never know I thought it might have had something historically significant on there, but it didn't. It was just about live oaks. And up here, there's another big live oak tree right there that the driver formerly known as James likes. And here's that building I like. That is just a unique looking, the way it's angled right there. And to our right, if you watched the video the other day is where we passed that bottling company and they get their uh, water that they bottle there from the spring and I'm not sure how to get down to that spring so there are videos of it on YouTube but I have no idea so and there's the driver formerly known as James's yellow house And I'm going to ask the driver formerly known as James just to pull into their little park right quick. 
and we will just show their little park. And they do have a playground and a little walking area. And that's the church we're going to go over and take a closer look at. The uh, That church was built in the 1850s, so if you watch my videos, you'd know that I've shown plenty of buildings from the late 1800s, the 1880s, but you know, that was 20 years after the Civil War ended, so. Um, this will be the first building I think I've filmed that was actually standing during the Civil War. So, we're going to cut the drive here until we get over there. Okay, so we're across the street from the little park there, and we're going to take a closer look at this church. Uh, this is a Methodist church, and it is also on the National Historical Register. We'll go up and take a closer look at it. So I had seen in somebody's YouTube video that this was also used as a makeshift field hospital during the Civil War, but I couldn't verify that. The Wikipedia page says nothing about it, so that would require some more research, but it would make sense. And this is the Reverend J.L. White Memorial Hall. And we're just going to look at this plaque on the building that says it's on the National Register. So, yeah, this is very neat. And I do believe the first building that I've filmed that I know of that was standing during the Civil War. Very cool. All right, down this road is the Seminole Indian community and we're gonna attempt to drive down there and see if we can see anything. Hang on, let's look at the back. We're here, we might as well film it. Very cool building. All right, let's go check out the Seminole community if we can find it. Okay, I hope you found that church neat. I did. Um, now we're just going to drive down and see if we can see anything back here in the Seminole Indian community. And this makes me nervous to go back out here because I know that they have different cultures and customs and I don't want to offend anybody. So we're just going to take a little drive and I don't know that there's even anything out here so to see I don't know if there's any structures or not. Of course I could always tell them that I'm, you know, have some Cherokee blood in me. I don't know if the Cherokee and the Seminole were friends or enemies, so maybe I could keep my mouth shut. Okay, here's a building. Looks just like a home. We did see a truck go by when I was filming the church that had a Looks like it had a boat trailer on it, so I don't know if there's anywhere to launch a boat down here or if this goes to that boat ramp, maybe. I have no idea. Yeah, I think this is just homes out here, guys. Of course, it, it doesn't tell you how far down 
the Seminole community is down here. Yeah, there's a lake right there, which I'm filming into the sun, which is never good. But I thought maybe they would have a little town or something back here. But it looks like it's just gonna be woods and homes. Two of my least favorite things to film. You know me, I like to film towns, and that is neater to me than just woods, but it is what it is. So I guess we'll drive down a, maybe another mile or so and see if there's anything <clears throat> of interest back here. Like I said, there could be a whole big, you know, different kind of town back here. I've never been back here, and the, the sign on the highway doesn't say oh you know three miles down or ten miles down it just points down this way so without telling us how many miles it is but I mean this is a neat little a neat little back roads drive here and we got some activity up here these people are doing pointing at something and we got got something on fire back here yeah I'd say go ahead and turn around we don't want to be driving into any forest fires just uh, turn around up here I'm not sure if that's a uh, forest fire or somebody's burning yard trash or if they're doing some kind of a controlled burn. Yeah, anywhere you can turn around. It looks like a, oh. Okay, we got a semi truck here in front of this little fire. Pull up a little bit, drive for only knows, James. Yeah, you can see that. Looks like it's somebody's burning, so it's not a wildfire. And then we're just gonna go back the way we came. All right, so it looks like that road dead, dead ends down there into a gated fence. So I don't know. I, my guess is there's nothing to see down here. But we hope you enjoyed the ride anyway. Hey, we're back in Interlochen and figured we'd give you a rare weekday shot of Taco Bell being built. And it looks like they are making some progress. Those pipes look like they're buried. The driver formerly known as James pointed that out. And it uh, looks like they've got a lot more on, done on the exterior. Got the door, that, that was there Saturday. And we got the crew going inside to work. And they're out on their little uh, tractor cubs there. Very cool. Yally, what are you doing, Yally? Camera shot today?